Exercise is a safe treatment for many health conditions and is frequently studied. However, up until now, we don't know what effects exercise has on people living with multiple health conditions, often labeled as multimorbidity. The systematic review and meta-analysis by Bricka et al. in the year 2020 investigated the benefits and harms of exercise therapy in this population of people living with multiple chronic health conditions. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Bricka et al. compared randomized controlled trials administering exercise therapy with or without other intervention to those employing standard care, wait and see, and or placebo treatments. The study population had combinations of the following health conditions. Osteoarthritis of the knee or hip, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, depression, heart failure, ischemic heart disease, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. They assessed the following outcomes. The health-related quality of life, physical function and symptoms of depression and anxiety. Exercise therapy with an average duration of 13 weeks was found to cause a small improvement in health-related quality of life. Meta-regressions indicated that increasing age was associated with lower effect sizes, meaning that the younger the patient, the more improvements may be expected. Exercise of an average duration of 12 weeks showed a small improvement in physical function although with considerable heterogeneity. However, when considering studies using the 6-minute walk test as an outcome measure, an improvement of nearly 43 meters of walking distance was observed with low heterogeneity. This improvement is greater than the 30-meter cutoff generally used in people with chronic conditions. Exercise therapy with an average duration of 13 weeks was able to cause a large reduction in depression. Meta-regression showed that exercise in individuals with higher levels of depression was able to cause a greater reduction of these depressive symptoms. On the other hand, no reduction in anxiety was seen. A very important finding was that overall exercise caused no more adverse events compared to usual care. On the contrary, exercise therapy was able to reduce the risk of serious adverse events like hospitalization, death, pneumonia and cardiac disorders. To conclude, small effects were found for exercise therapy being effective in increasing health-related quality of life, physical function and in decreasing depressive symptoms. Importantly, exercise was able to cause a substantial reduction in the risk for serious adverse events like hospitalization, death, pneumonia and cardiac disorders. Although these conclusions are based on low-quality evidence, Exercise seems safe and beneficial and should therefore be recommended in people with multimorbidity. Alright, thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in reading more research reviews, we post one every Monday on physiotutors.com. On our website you can find a ton of relevant physiotherapy content. Check it out at the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This was Ellen for Physiotutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.